Hi, this is Bruce at Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're looking at the MIGWELL 250 MP. This is a professional 250 amp double pulsed MIG stick welder with IGBT technology. That's what makes it an inverter, uh, insulated gate bipolar transistors inside. It's a double pulse, so it's putting out a, a pulse above current. So we're gonna go through the setup of the machine, how you attach the MIG weld torch, how you attack the, attach the stick weld stinger and your ground clamp. Uh, this machine weighs about 60 pounds. I lifted it up here onto the table just a few minutes ago. So it's a nice portable machine. It's got a rack for, the, uh, for your bottle on the back. Here's our control panel and we have a lot of availability, a lot of options here. We'll start with just the process. This is our stick welding icon. We ship through process with this button, CO2 or um, MIG welding or a flux core. Um, here's our P MIG or pulse MIG and here's our DP MIG double pulse. So we just cycle through the processes with this button. Each time we hit a process, we have a multitude of things that we can adjust in that process. All forms of welding, whatever it is, stick welding, TIG welding, MIG welding, need a gas or a, a, a shield, a flux shield of some kind to protect the molten uh, weld from the atmosphere, from the oxygen in the atmosphere. So MIG welding uses a gas, 75, 25, 75% argon, 25% uh, CO2 to protect the weld. And the so we have our gas hooked up. Now we need uh, the material that is going to form the weld, the, uh, the metal that is going to go in and become the molten metal which joins the two pieces of steel, uh, aluminum, whatever, together. So that's uh, for this machine, we're going to buy a roll like this. This is 12 and a half pound. We can put a 40 pound roll on here. This is a label indicating the size of the wire. This is 035 wire. That means it's 35 thousandths of an inch. And wire comes in in 023, 030, 035, 045. Uh, different sizes for different applications. Uh, the bigger wire is going to put more metal into the weld. The smaller wires obviously going to put smaller amounts of metal into the weld. So uh, depending on your application, that's uh, you're going to choose the wire size. So there's wire size and there's also uh, what the material that the wire is made out of uh, is also important because you want to match this wire metal to the metal that you're welding. So you can buy different size wires in a, a large variety of types of steel or aluminum or stainless in accordance with the weld that you're making. I put the roll on so the wire feeds this way. Now this is, uh, you need to be careful right here because if this wire, if you lose this or if it spins out, it'll become a big mess. So we're going to feed it into this uh, guide, into our first drive roller. And now we're okay. This is important and you need to see this. The number here corresponds to the groove that is driving the wire. So 1.0, one millimeter is the inner groove and that's the drive wheel groove that's being used to feed this, push this wire all the way out through the MIG gun. Uh, if we flip this over, there's a 1.2, so we have a 45 thousandths capability. If this wheel is flipped, then the, the other groove accommodates a larger wire. So we're fed through the guides, this guide, and here's our second drive roller. This is, here's the 1.2, but we're gonna set it on one. Here's the drive pins that turn this wheel. So we're gonna slide that on. And now we're gonna put the tension arm down and we're driven by both these uh, wheels into this guide, which is gonna lead us to the MIG gun or... All right, here's the path uh, from the spool through the drive rollers and out through the uh, a MIG torch, MIG gun connection. Now here's my connection I'm gonna make and I'm gonna start the wire through the torch, through the gun, and then uh, uh, connect the gun to the machine with this collar. All right, now the wire started in the MIG gun and the gun's connected to the welder. 
All right, I'm going to turn the machine on and feed the wire. The wire needs to feed through the hose to uh, the end of my contact tip here. So just pull the trigger and you can see that the drive rollers have started. Now they're sending wire through the hose and it's going to come out the end here. Okay, here's the wire out the end of the MIG gun. Let me uh, put on the contact tip, this little tip that screws into the end of the MIG gun. And this needs to be the same size as the wire. This has a little stamp in it, 035, 040, 045, 062, 023, but it needs to correspond to the welding size. And then our gas lens, like gas cup, is going to slide in over the end. Uh, last connection to the front of the machine is the ground clamp, so uh, negative, positive. This is a dense connector, we'll just put it in, turn it, and then this is going to clamp to our workpiece. So there's an overview of the MIGBOL 250 MP, a uh, real versatile welder. You can put your bottle on the back, you can drag it around, it's on wheels, you can move it around the shop easily. Um, lots of different options, easy to change processes through the, the channel network here. So hope this setup video for the uh, MIGWEB 250MP helps. And as always, thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab.